Now, you guys might be thinking to yourself, why the hell am I doing another video for this? Like, I've already come to my conclusion that this is pretty much the same thing as every other Call of Duty. But, I decided to do another video and do this thing we call multiplayer. And basically, my idea with this video is to basically, well, Call of Duty is basically the fun game to hate on. Like, like it, hate it, it's just the cool thing to do, is to randomly hate on, uh, Call of Duty. It's been an awesome launch week. Black Ops 2 has already been played online by more than t more, for more than 21 million hours. That is absolutely ridiculous, and I don't know how highly that speaks for everybody that plays these games. This is a double XP weekend for all players who purchased the game with the Nuketown 2025 map. Well, I rented this shit, so that's definitely not me. Not that I care. So, there goes that. I forgot to put myself in a party by myself, so nobody can hear me. Because, honestly, people are probably going to think I'm on crack right now. So, go ahead and get myself hidden here. Level 14. Just to give you guys a look real quick. Um, I don't base my opinions on sucking at the game. I mean, sometimes I do that, not gonna lie. But thus far, I got myself a point ninety-six. So clearly, my bitching and complaining about the lag isn't because I suck. Not to say that, you know, I'm a pro player or anything, but I'm not bad. I mean, look at this. It's, it's actually been doing pretty decent in this game so far. So we're going to enjoy some wub wubs. We're going to pop into a match. And, uh, I'm going to kind of go nuts here. Because I had this idea in mind for this video. And, uh, we're going to go ahead and go with it. We're going to play some Kill Confirmed this time, though, instead of a regular deathmatch. This is going to pop me in the middle of the match? I really hope not. Yeah, this is going to put me in the middle of the match. Kill confirmed. Weapon three. Alright, middle of a match, here we go. Call of Duty in a nutshell. So, you know, Call of Duty 4 came back. Or, it came out. I don't know why I said it came back. Oh, didn't get that guy because it sucked. Um, so, Call of Duty 4 came out, and it's like, oh man, this game is like, the shit. Everybody loves it. And I just got killstreak, which leads me into Modern Warfare 2, which, you know, dominated the game with killstreaks. You know, no more 3, 5, and 7, stuff that works. You know, stuff that people like. Oh, I just died again. But, you know, it wasn't my fault, because clearly I can't play any better. It's the game's fault. Call of Duty players blame the game, right? That's how it works. Well, all fails blame the controller. That's how it works, too. But yeah, you know, World of War, you had the zombies. Um, there we go, I die again. Guy in the corner with his little kill streak. Really kind of sucks. Trying to shoot this guy, I just shoot him. I only get hit markers. I don't actually kill him. It's really fucking sucks. There's that. So World of War has zombies, and it's like OMG zombies. Like, oh man, you should be playing this game. I don't want to play this game. I want to play Call of Duty 4. I want to play a dedicated server. I want to play, you know, an awesome freaking game. And everyone on World of War is just like, huh? What zombies? Huh? What? So you haven't gotten a single kill yet. Look at this. No kills. No kills whatsoever. Absolutely ridiculous. But you know, Modern Warfare 2 comes out and it's like all the kill streaks and stuff, and even if you ignore that, they have the stupid javelin glitch and the you know, commando lunge, you know, MLC combo. I can't kill anybody in this game. Like, I literally have no kills right now. And Right. I have I have no kills. None. I have not scored a single kill in this match. Hostile care package inbound. I'm I'm terrible. I mean But you know what? The game's terrible. Because that's always the answer. If you suck, the game's terrible. Can't be you that's terrible. The game that's terrible. Just blame it on the game, blame it on the controller, you know, use whatever excuse you want. And you know, it's all about keeping your KD up. So all you gotta do is, you know, dashboard the match, or excuse me, Xbox Home, and there you go. It never happened. And you get to keep your KD intact, because, you know, that's the way you play these games, because your KD means everything. That's the way a typical COD player plays, right? 
That's how you do it. It's all about the KD. You live by the KD, you die by the KD. Then Black Ops came around, and it's like, oh, this hit detection is freaking horrible. And then you go to Modern Warfare 3, and it's like, wow, the hit detection is still horrible, and everything's horrible, and now we're complaining and bitching and all that. And it's like, well, you know, I think I'm going to go back to Black Ops. The guns are more balanced, you know, you don't have stupid things going on. But then again, there's stupid things going on in each of these games, because ever since Modern Warfare 2, we decided, hey, we're not going to use dedicated servers anymore. Which would be an easy fix, but they're not going to do that. They're not going to do that. They're still making their money, because we're still giving them their money. Which, of course, leads into this game. But now that we've officially gotten some stuff out there, and had to go ahead and dashboard a match, because that's the way we preserve our KD and make ourselves feel better, we're going to go ahead and try and get into another lobby. Again to another kill confirmed lobby. See what happens here. Why does it drop me in the middle of a match? Like, I want to start from the beginning of a match. I don't know if that's possible or not. I think I might have just gone to the same exact game, actually. Kill confirmed. Light him up. Ah, well, you didn't see that coming, did you, bitch? Kill confirmed. So in Call of Duty, right. all you have to do is just sit in a corner like this, wait for somebody to come, just wait for him, don't even bother with the tags, no one plays objectives. That guy just shot me, I should have been a little quicker on the trigger finger. I can go ahead and shoot him like a little bitch. Because camping is what we do. I think I just got a kill there, that's just awesome. I don't care about my team, I only care about myself. I just shot this guy. I don't think I killed him. That really sucks. Or, you know, you could always play the objectives. You know, you can get the tags. And I could have the highest score in the game. If I have the highest score in the game, it doesn't matter that I die 20 times. Because I know I helped the team, and I did good. Hunter killer drone deployed. Oh, well, I got tomahawked there. I got tomahawked. That sucks. You know... Maybe if I was a little quicker, I yeah, my controller must have disconnected or something. And see, see, uh, I shot that guy, and then he didn't die. Clearly, my buttons didn't work. Nope. Yep. Like I said, all else fails. Blame the controller. Those COD players, all about those excuses. So, if you like this video, you should like comment and stuff, and like and subscribe. Because, you know, I'm going to tell you that like 20 times because I'm making a Call of Duty video. Because I think it's going to make me famous on YouTube. And, uh, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and dashboard again because I have a crappy KD. See? Because they cheated. And I'm making excuses like a Call of Duty player does. See, I even though I'm, the da I'm on the dashboard right now and there's not much to look at, you know, you want to like and subscribe. Uh, did I mention like and subscribe? Like and subscribe. You can like uh, become my biggest fan and stuff, and leave comments and discuss and whatnot. Or you can just give me a bunch of dislikes, and I'll continue to put these videos out anyway. That's what I do. Look at this. The game can't even load fast. Look at this. this game just sucks. See how this is starting to sound more and more ridiculous? I mean, like this is this is. This is a Call of Duty player. This is the mentality that goes on with a Call of Duty game. Maybe it's not so much the problems in the game itself. Maybe it's, you know, the fans that have really just... It's, it's part of it, too. I mean, the game's not perfect. Maybe it's not as bad as I put it out to be, but it sure as hell not perfect. And everybody wants games to be perfect now. And, you know, I'm kind of, I'm kind of in the middle with that. Like, I'd like this to be better. Like, you know, the whole dedicated servers thing, it's a, it's a point I bring up constantly. But, you know, it's just not going to happen. Maybe I should stop looking for kill confirmed. Go ahead and do a team deathmatch. I think I'll actually be able to get a whole match in that. Nope, it took me in the middle again. Took me into the middle of the game. Yep. Be it 
advised. Hostile hunter killer drone inbound. Team death. Alright, people, I'm gonna go ahead and get in this game. We're gonna run around like a jackass. Hip fire is the only thing you can do, it's not even worth using the sights. Look at this guy, look at this guy. Bam! You got beasted. How's this guy? Oh, oh, I got shot! Oh, this game sucks. There's nothing I can do. The game just sucks. Oh, oh, there's a drone there. Can I kill it? Can I kill it? Can I kill it? What can I do with this thing? Oh, I got wrecked by the drone. The game ended. Already. That one hurt. That was a quick game. What happens when you get randomly thrown in, huh? Whoa, th did you see that? Did you see that jumping around there? It was lag during the kill cam. Lag during the kill cam. I like that. It's good. Hey, it shows on my party chat when I'm chatting right now. That's cool. That's cool. I like that. I don't know if anybody else can see that, but I like that. Alright, so I'll, I'll get into the beginning of this match. It'll be work. It'll work. It'll work. So yeah, you know, I don't know if I mentioned it. The game doesn't have dedicated servers. That automatically makes it suck. Enjoy some wub wubs in the library. Uh, <laughs> I said the library, the lobby. Pretty sure there wouldn't be dubstep in the library. That would be way too noisy. Because, you know, dubstep's a bunch of noise. Oh, we're gonna go into plaza. We're gonna go into plaza. Let's do this. Let's do this. No dedicated servers. Let's do it. Team Deathmatch. I will say one thing that's superb about this game. The soundtrack is pretty freaking badass. Like, everything I've heard so far is pretty awesome. Erase all hostiles. We and it's not just being, hey, Trent Reznor did the soundtrack, so it's freaking awesome. Well, well, guess what? He didn't do the soundtrack, he only did the theme. There's like two different renditions of it. Or, they, I, I think it's two different tracks on the soundtrack, but they play one after the other on the title screen. Where is somebody? Oh god, oh, 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 camping, bitch. Anyway, so, I don't even think he's actually camping, but even if he's not camping, you blame him anyway, so, you know, that's a typical Call of Duty camping, yeah, typical Call of Duty player making excuses and stuff. Talk really fast, too, so you drive yourself nuts, you know, you don't know what's going on. We've lost the advantage. Whee! Okay. We've taken the lead. And guys, we got this really crappy system for the game. It's called lag compensation. I wish this didn't exist in the game. It makes the game so terrible. It breaks the game. See? That guy probably had like a Comcast connection or something. We've lost the lead. Where's this gun? Maybe this gun's more OP than mine. I know I saw a gun. Where'd the gun go? Where'd the gun go? I can't find a gun. I have to switch back to my regular gun. Stack! Hostile UAV above. Yeah, got you, didn't I? Oh, oh look, I got killed because I tried to teabag him. Look at that. I thought I tried it, did it. Hunter killer drone inbound. Guy's just sitting there on the building like a little biatch. They know. My conversation isn't there. Or it is. I'm sure they're still using it. But the matchmaking is supposed to be different. You know, instead of being region based, it's based on your ping. Oh, 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 look at that dubstep. Can you break the bottles? You can break the bottles. That's fucking cool. The way of the future. Apparently, in 
2025, we're still listening to the same shit. And I do stress shit. Oh, I got killed, but you know, it's the game's fault. It's not mine. It can't possibly be my fault. This game is much better when I had 3, 5, and 7. You know, kill streaks weren't overpowered. The game wasn't dominated by kill streaks. We'll ignore the fact that we barely see any kill streaks, but I need to blame it on something, because if I'm doing bad, it can't possibly be my fault. Oh, good day! Oh, shit! Can I kill you in the wub wub room? That'd be awesome. Oh! I got distracted by the wub wubs. See? You gotta. You gotta keep a, advised, hostile keep a lookout incoming. for your surroundings because if you die, you gotta find something to blame it on. Because it's never your fault. Okay, come on, let's go, let's go. And if you're doing good, you're a fucking beast. Advised, That's how these games are, right? See? I just shot that guy in the head. In all reality, I think the hit detection was just terrible and I don't actually think I hit him in the head. But, since it happened, I'm gonna roll with it and call myself a beast anyway. And I think that guy just spawned right there. I'm not even sure. I might be making that up. I don't even know. I work for sex. Use the freaking guns. You got guns in the game, and they're like unbalanced and stuff. And you play a Treyarch game, and the weapons weren't balanced. Then you can't shoot people, and the hit detection sucks. This game sucks, man. This game's terrible. I got, uh, Black Ops 2. Or during a uh, midnight release, and uh, I'm be five and ten hostile, right now, and uh, uh, the the, the game, the game, there must be something wrong with the game, man. But I've been playing this since midnight release and stuff. I mentioned I got this in midnight release. I waited in line for like four hours for the store to open, and I've been playing nonstop. I'm like second prestige, and the game like just came out. And on, this game is awesome, but but it like sucks because it's the same. UAV inbound. I mean, it's got score streaks instead of kill streaks, and you know I want some things to be different, but it, it it's really not. And uh, I I can't make up my mind, but uh, I hear that's what people that play Call of Duty do, because it, it I mean I, I don't I don't know I might I like this game I don't like this game I can't really tell I think like two months from now though I'm, I'm gonna go back to Modern Warfare 3 because it was amazing and totally not, not broken and and like hackers and stuff and I don't even know what I'm saying anymore and yeah I'm fucking retarded because I'm a Call of Duty player Diamond in jeopardy pick it up and if anything changes I'm not gonna adapt to it because that's just the way I am. Look at this. Look at this. I just wrecked that guy, and then I got wrecked by the other guy. You know what's awesome about Call of Duty players? You know what's freaking amazing? I, I remember when Modern Warfare 2 came out, and I, I camped in Afghan, and and I got myself 25-0 and 0 so I could get a nuke, but then I forgot to put it on like an idiot, so then I can only claim that I would have got a nuke if I actually had it on, but I didn't put it on because I'm a fucking idiot. I didn't put it on. I didn't do it. I forgot. Because I'm stupid. But my friends know. They saw it. They saw it. You know, I really hope Nuketown 24-7 returns. And in this game, I suppose it would be Nuketown 20... <laughs> nuke down. Nuke town. 24/7. Nuke town 24/7. 2025. So if that comes back, this game would be amazing. Cause you know nobody can nobody camps in Nuke town. Oh, I just died. Yeah, you know, I'll, I'll keep that. I don't even care. For execution out there. Mission profile failed. I don't even care. Like you shouldn't care. It shouldn't be all about that. It shouldn't be all about getting the highest KD or whatever. It should just be just about having fun. And you know, a lot of my skills, a lot of my uh, my skills and my scores are going down the crapper right now. But I dashboard a bunch of matches to you know make fun of Call of Duty players. You know, sometimes I'm with them, sometimes I'm not. Depends on your mood, I guess.
So yeah, the game's been using the same dated engine since Call of Duty 4, just modified versions of it. What the freaking do? Uh, Call of Duty players are indecisive. If you haven't figured that out yet, like I'm just sitting here making fun of people. That's all they do. Uh, it's Call of Duty, man. It, it, it's the same shit. Love it or hate it, it is the same shit. There, there's just nothing to really. There's just not, not really much else to say. And uh, I, I actually feel bad for uh, Mike Rufail, Hastro. I feel bad for him actually, because he's probably getting a lot of flack right now for all the nonsense that goes on with these games. And I'm not sure if he had any idea what he was getting into. He's getting a lot of flack. Like, he just... He's trying to make this better for, like, the esports scene and whatnot. And I don't know if this game's ever going to hit, like, an MLG event or anything like that. But... He really worked hard with the team to help this game be pushed forward. And I hope... If for no other reason, I do hope this game hits, like, it does good in the esports scene... So then at least, even though people are complaining, you can then at least say, well, it's got a nice eSports following, so now what? Like, then it hits it big, and then what? You know, people will just complain for the sake of complaining. That was... You know, see... I like to run around, so that's not cool, but whatever. It is good. That's the way it should be. That's the way Call of Duty overall should be. It is what it is. Look at this guy. You see, I knew he was going to do that. So I played a little smart. I went prone, and I went to shoot his ass, because I knew he was going to hide behind a freaking garbage can like a little bitch. Or I, don't, I don't even know if it was a garbage can. That's what I get for fucking teabagging. And then, oh, 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 you know, this is another thing that Call of Duty players do. Ready, ready, ready? Call of Duty? Oh, man. Is, is a girl who plays Call of Duty? Oh man, that's so cool. That's so cool. I, I like want to meet her and stuff. But, you know, I'm going to totally turn her off to me because I'm going to tell her one of two things. I'm going to tell her one, that she's inferior, or two, that she belongs in the kitchen. Because that's totally going to give me points with her. Let me tell you. Call of Duty players. And, you know, that, that, that's not exclusive to Call of Duty players, but I know a lot of Call of Duty players do it. And, and actually, a friend of mine, uh, I'm not going to say any names, but... Anybody who knows me knows what I'm talking about here. We actually used to uh, joke around about that a lot. But, um... Yeah. It, it was it was kind of this thing. Like, yeah, But, it, you know, you want to joke around at a party, whatever. You don't go in game chat and stake all sorts of crap like that. Sitting there saying that, you know, you go around with this thing and you're using your kitchen knife to kill people. I like the knife swipe. It's faster in this game. Also, calling in UAVs, that's, it's, it's a very small thing, very minor thing, but it's something I can appreciate. It does come out faster. One thing this game has always had going for it, you know, you got the 60 frames per second. We've taken the lead. You know, so it's fast-paced gameplay. You know, when it actually runs smoothly. My KD at? I have to keep checking my KD, because that's what matters in this game. I don't know if I mentioned that. Oh, speaking of things I haven't mentioned... Uh, you should like and subscribe this video, you know, like, tell all your friends about it, like and subscribe, shoot this guy in the back, Friendly UAV in the inbound. face, and reload, I got a lot of deaths because of that, see, I'm not making excuses there, it's just, it's, it's just flat out why I die a lot, because I reload after every kill, even if I don't actually get the kill, I'm a compulsive reloader, that's what gets me killed a lot in this game, that and I'm impatient, so that gets me killed a lot too, friendly care package inbound. If I didn't kill that guy there, I would have raged. That guy was just hidden, hidden, standing there. It wasn't there the whole time. Just kind of using it, popping in and out of cover, I guess. But, you know, that's just what happens. Can't be a pro all the time. This guy had fun with it. Oh, that guy was being a bitch behind a box. You, you gotta rage sometimes, too. It's just how it works. Just gotta roll with it. Just gotta roll with it. And that's the thing with Call of Duty as a whole. You just gotta roll with it. Cause honestly, you get pissed at every little thing, why the fuck you even play? Cause the fact is... Activision, you know, Infinity War, Treyarch, whatever, they're all making money. These games keep doing better and better each year. And, uh, you know, you guys complain so much, but you still buy the games anyway. And you might be saying, oh, well you're one of them. Well, no, I gamefly the bitch. 
I didn't actually play this game. I mean, look at that. I just, th th there is, I want to see what the kill cam says here. Because look at this. I was behind the wall. I, I was behind the freaking wall already. And he shot me. What, he shoot through the wall? Do you have freaking bullets that, oh, God. You see, stuff like that does make me mad. It is just, just like a typical yeah, Call of Duty player. Look at this guy sitting in the corner. Fuck you. Camp son of a bitch. See now this is me. I'm not making fun of anybody anymore. Unless I find something else on this piece of paper, because I'll just I'll just be honest. I wrote this paper and you know I was trying to think of all the stuff that uh you know to talk about with Call of Duty players talking about this game and you know complain about it for this and this and that. And some reasons are legit, some are not. Yeah, you can tell. I mean, I'm eight and then I'm eight and nine. I'm a negative, but uh, doing better than I was before because I'm more focused. Um. I'm not sure if I mentioned everything on this paper or not. I think I basically went through everything. Look at this guy. He doesn't even notice me because he's in the corner, and my aim wasn't really that great, so I didn't kill him. Friendly hunter killer drone deployed. Yeah, I know that was my fault. Friendly RCXD. Here's this guy. He doesn't even see me. Oh, they got a camping bitch on my team. Fuck out of here, buddy. So I think after this match, Dolphin Dive, I think after this match, um, I'll go ahead and call it quits. Oh god, I thought I was going to shoot him in the foot and get a headshot, because, you know, sometimes that happens in this game. Look out this window real quick, but I'm not going to stay here because I want to make him a douche. That and I don't have the patience to do it. That's why I don't camp, I just don't have the patience for it. Friendly Hellstorm missile inbound. Another one of my friends the other day is like, oh, I went 35 and something, or something like that. Like, something big to score, like 34 and 6, 35 and 6, or whatever. And I was like, hey, you camped. And he was like, uh, hey, only a little. Yeah, right. Fucking camp. Friendly How else are you going to do that in this game? Oh, God. You could just be good, but let's be honest. Even if you're good, you can have, you know, lag and crap like that in this game just mess you up. I'm gonna come around here. Oh, he actually saw me! He actually knew what I was gonna do, I guess. Whatever, man. I'm not even sure why the match ended when it did. You will be rewarded for your loyalty. I was watching the timer the whole time, I guess, you know. Yeah, okay, we got we got to the score. I, I, I don't even know. I'm just being retarded right now. But, that's actually pretty legit. I see a lot of cam kill cams that are bullshit, but he got shot in the head there. That's just what happened. And you see, I got another crappy score, but I'm okay with that. It is what it is. I'm not going to sit here and try to pat my stats and pretend, you know, that I'm good if, you know, I'm not. But, that's it. I'm going to throw this paper away. I think I pretty much covered everything. Um, that's it, man. I mean, it's Call of Duty. But what else do you want, actually want me to say? That's, it's, that's it. If you like Call of Duty up to this point, get the game. If you don't, don't get the game. Either way, you're probably still going to hate on the game. Or love the hell out of the game. And then decide two months later that you want to go back to the older one or, you know, start hitting up forums and whatnot. It's the same behavior. So, and, you know, this isn't the only game it happens with, but because Call of Duty is what it is and it's become as big as it is, it's just become the cool thing to do at default. So, I figure I'd just put this out. It could be really long, but I just wanted to get a bunch of things out there in regards to this game. It's not all bad. Am I disappointed that they don't really go a step further to make things that much different than what they have been, like, the past five years or so? Yeah, but it's still a fun game. Sometimes I wish it performed a little better. But it is what it is. It's Call of Duty. Love it or hate it. Take care, guys.